Jennifer Aniston in Friends is like my all time crush. Like I think she is the most perfect person in the world. Easy peasy, mustard, mayo, ketchup. I'm more of a ketchup kind of guy, but I do like mayo with my with my um, chips. And I also, I'm not gonna endorse McDonald's. McDonald's can go away. Up, Toy Story or The Incredibles. It's gotta be The Incredibles for me. That was always my favorite as a kid growing up. I love that one. Rachel, Phoebe or Monica? I think that um, Jennifer Aniston in Friends is like my all time crush. Like, I think she is the most perfect person in the world. So, Rachel, hands down. Spider-Man, Star-Lord, Iron Man. It's gotta be Spider-Man, no brainer. The whole world would say it. Onward, upward, or backward? Upward's pretty cool, but it's not as cool as, as Onward, the film. Greatest film ever made. Harry Styles, Ed Sheeran, Justin Bieber. I'd say music-wise, it's gotta be Ed Sheeran, but I think recently, Justin Bieber, like with what he's been doing with that show that he did on Netflix, on YouTube, I just really enjoyed that because it was nice to see that someone who like goes through it in the biggest way possible also has a hard time and and uh, I just felt like there was a real solidarity for young people going through. No one goes through it like he does, but we we all go through it in a little bit. And uh, I just was really grateful to see that side of him, I guess. I just kind of, I'm just really happy that he's happy. He just seems so happy and I just, it just made me really happy. Ready salt with salt and vinegar and cheese and onion, salt and vinegar, all day long. Barley, Ian, Laurel, Lightfoot. Uh, Ian, which is me. White or dark milk choc, or milk chocolate. I really like uh, white chocolate. The, um, is it Milka white chocolate? I always buy that at the airport. Wing thigh or breast. My favorite is to, to cook with is a thigh. And it's also really easy. It's quite hard to get it wrong. Wing is my favorite to eat though. A centaur, a unicorn, or an elf. In this film, the unicorns are kind of gross. The centaurs are actually kind of funny, but I think I'd be an elf. I like the idea of being an elf. Red velvet, vanilla sponge, or chocolate. I'm a red velvet kind of guy. I really like red velvet. It is super tasty. I did get one session with Chris, uh, which unfortunately didn't really work because I couldn't stop laughing all the time. Um, but the majority of the film I did by myself with Dan and Corey. He's just the funniest bloke ever. Everything that comes out of his mouth is really funny. And him playing this character with such enthusiasm and he is, you know, he's so exuberant. It just was, it was just really funny to watch, you know? We would make this film like on the weekends. And then I would obviously work on the other jobs that I was working on in the week. And the directors of the job that I was doing in the week were always really upset if I had a Pixar session that weekend because I'd come in on the Monday and like have no voice left. Because there's so much shouting and screaming and laughing in this film that it really did take its toll. I think the Pixies, you know, they're pretty formidable. I think the Pixies would give him a good run for his money, yeah. Do you know what? I'm super excited. I was, you know, the future for Spider-Man was still very bright with Sony and we had a really, really wonderful idea of how we could sort of transition into a Spider-Man without the MCU. And Tom Rothman and Amy Pascal were really confident that they were gonna do justice and make a film of the caliber that Spider-Man requires. Um, but that said, I'm really glad to be back in the MCU and to have the team back together because I kind of feel like it's where he belongs now. I'm really grateful that Bob Iger and Tom Rothman allowed me to be a part of the process of bringing him home. Um, it was a pretty cool experience and also the best bragging rights ever. I saved Spider-Man. Yeah, I was really drunk. Yeah, I saw Bob Iger recently, a couple of days ago in LA, and I said to him, I said, when you come to London, I want to take you to the pub to have a pint and we can talk about how Spider-Man it's gonna be, it's gonna continue to be an amazing franchise for both Disney and Sony. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so hopefully he comes to London and I can take him out for a pint. I think the WandaVision show looks really cool. I don't really know what it's about and it looks very stylistic. It almost looks like a bit of a sitcom, yeah. the way they've shot it. I don't really understand what is going on, but I know that it looks really cool. Paul and Elizabeth are like two of the nicest people I know and I would love to work with them some more and get to know them a little bit better. So if I could put Spider-Man in the WandaVision show, that'd be great, Kevin Feige. So if you want to do that, you know my number.
little bit of both. I'm not very good with emails, and my poor team, that must just drive them mental, because I'm just really bad at responding to emails. But I do do my own like little personal lists of like what I want to achieve in 2020, what I want to achieve in this decade, what I want to achieve in my life. I have got like some pretty solid lists as what I would like to do. One of them is getting better at replying to emails. Uh, I can hear Cara, my publicist, is chuckling in the background going, that'll never happen, you idiot. But yeah, you know, it's things about like being happy and, and being a good person and, and continuing with my brother's trust thing that I do with my family. I'm really proud of the work that my mum's been doing with that. Um, so yeah, it's all sorts of different things, really. When I was a kid, when I was much younger, I was a little bit of an introvert. I wasn't very confident. And then I was lucky enough to get this show called Billy Elliot. And I played Billy for a couple of years. And through doing that, I've sort of became a very confident young man and, and, and felt very comfortable in my own skin, uh, which is kind of what happens to Ian throughout the course of this movie. The advice I would give, and this is the best advice I've ever given, is always turn your nerves into excitement. If you actually think about the chemical feeling, the real physical feeling of what nerves are, it's the same as being excited. If you're queuing up for a roller coaster, you can't distinguish whether you're nervous or excited. So whenever I go on stage, you know, sometimes I'm lucky enough to be on stage in front of 20,000 people, I get just really excited to go on stage. I get this kind of rush of adrenaline. And I think that's because of this advice that it was Nick Evans gave it to me when I was about 12. Okay, selfishly, if I could have any spell, I would have the ability to teleport because I don't know if I can watch another in-flight safety video. And um, selflessly, I would get rid of all plastic in the world and save all the animals and the orangutans. I'd get rid of palm oil because that is so bad. Oh, what would he use it for? Interesting, probably similar reasons. He's a pretty good guy, but maybe filling up his web shooters would be a good one in a time of need, but also teleporting, because sometimes the Avengers are on the other side of the world, you've got to get there, and you know, it can be tricky for him. <laughs>